What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how to set up your Live Gamer 4K Avermedia Media Capture Card with a dual PC setup. Now we're gonna be doing the cloning method and I know there's some issues that can happen with that, like some resolution issue where when you tap into the game, the game gets like bigger or the cursor gets bigger for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but I do have a fix for it. Now keep in mind the settings that I'm gonna give you are the ones that I use personally on my setup and this works best for me. Now, if you're having issues after you still, after this, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Each PC is different, so we'll try to figure it out. PCs are complicated like that. I have no idea why, but it's just what I learned throughout the process. Now, I'm going to already assume that you already have RE Central downloaded and the Avermedia Media Assist tool because you will need those. That's kind of a given. But after that, we're going to go ahead and go to our gaming PC. All right, so now we're on the gaming PC. We're going to go ahead and go to NVIDIA Control Panel first. Now, mine are already connected, but yours are going to say one and two, right? There's going to be one and two, and you're going to have your main monitor with your capture card. Your monitor has to be the refresh rate that is supported by the capture card and the resolution as well. You're going to go ahead and clone your main monitor from your gaming PC to your capture card on your streaming PC, okay? Because it's going to show up as a monitor once you connect it. And now the way to connect it is basically... You know, you have your capture card in your streaming PC, either on a PCIe slot or that little tiny slot on the motherboard. Okay, it's one of the two slots. I have mine on a PCIe slot under the graphics card. Now you're gonna have an HDMI cable running from your graphics card, from your gaming PC to your stream PC, but in the import of the capture card. Okay, so just like that. And that's all you gotta do. Now you're gonna have OBS on your stream PC, okay? Uh, as for audio, that's gonna be another video, but if you need help with audio, I can make a video of that later. So now we're going to go ahead and clone our monitors, right? So you're going to make sure you're cloning. You're going to click, uh, it's going to say clone source. You're going to clone the source from your gaming. Make sure you click on your gaming monitor, clone source. And then you're going to click your capture card. Mine is number two. So you would put clone source with number two. And then once you do that, it's going to be like this. Okay. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to adjust desktop size and position. Make sure for the scaling that it's on aspect ratio and on display. Okay. Everything's the same. Make sure your settings are the same. And now for your capture card settings, Make sure it's on aspect ratio and the same. Make sure it's the same. But now we're going to go to size right here, right? And you're going to go put this on do not report. Why do we do this? I have no idea. I just know it works best. I don't know why. I tried figuring it out. I tried researching it. Maybe I didn't do my research right, but whatever. I just know that this works best for me. All right. Now it could be different for yours, for your setup, but at least just, just put it like this for now. Okay. And then if you're having issues, just leave a comment down below and we'll try to figure it out. I don't use G-Sync because... You know, I, I've read that G-Sync and FreeSync doesn't really work with capture cards. So I went, to go ahead, I went ahead and just disabled mine. You're going to want to make sure that you have it on highest available. And you're going to want this on vertical sync off. Every other setting could be whatever you want for now. Uh, but these are my settings if you want to copy them just to make sure. You go ahead and pause. But these are the settings that I use, okay? Now I have configure surround, uh, <laughs> whatever it's called, on uh, GeForce RTX 3090. And uh, that's basically it. I don't have uh, G-Sync enabled, like I said. Now, we're going to go to the display settings, okay? We're going to go to display settings. And you're going to go ahead and go to advanced scaling. Once you go to advanced scaling, you're going to hit, you're going to enter 100, you know, 100. And you're going to click apply. It's going to make you sign out and you're going to sign back in, whatever. Okay, do that. And then this is going to be 175. Don't worry about that. It's not going to be 175. Why it says that, I have no idea. It just does that, okay? Now, on the stream PC... You're going to want to go ahead and go to RE Central. Once you're on RE Central, you're going to go ahead and click this little pencil right here where it says edit. Go ahead and click that and then put the decode format to YU Y2. Make sure this, don't click auto setup, unclick auto setup and you're going to go to resolution 1080, 1920 by 1080 and refresh rate 240. Okay. Then you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to color range. You're going to set it to standard. Okay. And once you do that, click OK. Click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and click on this little settings tab right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to click right here on the Live Gamer 4K and you're going to go to HDCP. You're going to go ahead and click that off. Okay. Make sure you click that off and boom, you're done for there. And then you're going to go to your Avermedia gaming utility and you're going to go ahead and click HDCP off in here as well. Okay. You want to make sure they're both off. Now we're going to go to the capture card properties in OPS. You're going to go ahead and put it to custom. You're going to put your resolution for your monitor. Now I'm using the 1080p uh, 27 inch alien or monitor, the 240 Hertz. I have it at 3840 by 2160. Now I know it's weird. I don't know why it works. It's smooth. It's, it's weird. I don't know why it just works. Okay. I, so if you have the same monitor, go ahead and put that. If you don't regular resolution. Okay. I know it's weird. I know just 
that's how it is it's weird so you're going to put your fps to highest fps a video format to y u y2 709 uh color range full or well, color space 709 buffering disabled and all this just unchecked okay and whatever your audio is just leave it to that and then you're going to want to go to the advanced setting and the obs and you're going to go ahead and put process priority high and you know render direct uh, 3d 11 nv12 color format color space 709 color range full okay and then uh, these are my settings that i have uh for when i stream so i have a 16 core and a 3080 for my stream pc so i just kind of use this now what i have found out that is that like when i stream if i put it to slow right and i stream like this and then i switch it to slower while while i'm streaming it just makes it feel better i don't know why it just does it's weird but anyway don't worry about that that's not you don't have to do that that's something else so other than that you're basically good to go that's basically everything and it's smooth you know i don't have any issues everything's smooth tabbing in and out yeah it kind of goes black for a few seconds but other than that it's pretty solid now hopefully this helped you i know it's confusing trust me uh, this may or may not work for you if it does i'm glad i was able to help you and if it doesn't just go ahead and leave a comment i could help you out if we could figure it out but other than that hopefully this video helped you guys appreciate you guys for watching uh and go to my twitch yeah i don't do anything there but yeah go to it See you guys later.